Welcome back to the Romanian River channel and my playthrough of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I was gonna say Mankind Divided directly. Is that rave still going on though? Should go see Cooler and then see if I can stop the rave. Great. Another. Adam, it's Arya. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Aria. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. Hmm. We got a... Um, cybernetic Jack the Ripper. Well then, let's make sure we can... Uh, give him a nice welcome. Man, this place is torn up hard. You know, one thing I always loved is the loading screens. Well, technically it's not this case, but Loading screens disguised as uh, elevators. Shit! Did you hear? Talos Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me, I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. You got a calibrator for me or what? You really think Rucker was the problem? That his death is somehow gonna make things better for Augs? I don't think he was the solution. We need a new leader. Someone a little less beardy McFancy diploma. Someone who's gonna fight, you know? Stand up to some of these bullshit laws. You hear about the Human Restoration Act? Yeah. If the restoration vote passes, I don't know that it's gonna matter very much who the leader is. It's gonna be a government-mandated horror show is what it's gonna be. Men in white coats pulling out augmentations like they are teeth. <sighs> anyway, speaking of medical horrors, you ready for me to fix you or what? This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now it's totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? All right. Please tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. Wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. 
Go make use of all that cool shit. Fresh out of the package. Okay. Yeah, everything started though. Okay, that's cool, you know. Let's see about Og murderers. This is new. Quite new. Okay. So, which way home? That way. Left. She's just lying there. They should have just come up. Arresting. You know who? By now? Ah, John is not. Orders are orders. Ah, John is not. We going can't let them get away with this. To tell us. I was given the same orders you. Got. Okay. Shit. Wrong button. <laughs> oh yes, she can't spend ten years flying planes in. The SAF, I have no idea what that is. And five more in the private sector. He's one of TF-39's most experienced pilots, albeit not one of the friendliest ones. He's against terrorism, he's against, terrorism against aug augs, and against paying for his own drinks. His left leg was damaged by an aug during the incident, leaving Chicane with both a permanent limp and a deep and abiding distrust of augmented, augmentation technology. By now? I was given the same orders you were. I know all about I our orders. Do me a favor, eh? At least pretend we to can't let them get away with this. You don't think he did it? I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He, he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either. But that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. 
They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may, still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may... One sec. There we go. I can, can give see you the time my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Thought you we'll what happened. We'll bang okay, later, okay? Even not to me. And let's see what uh, Detective Monday has to say. That's what Montan means in German. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. There's no reason this should be complicated. Someone gets killed, you need to find the killer. Whether the victim was an og or not has nothing to do with it. Uh, no favorites before the law, eh? Okay. But what if the law itself is prejudiced, eh? As an officer of the law, wouldn't it be my duty to uphold that prejudice? No, it wouldn't. It's your job to uphold the ideal, to know the difference between right and wrong, and to act accordingly. Uh, you're obviously not a cop, are you? I used to be, for 12 years. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. I'm starting to think a grenade would be a quicker solution. Careful but... of the evidence. Interpol. Who do they think they are?
Just because you got the gun. I trust it. I mean, I do. Who would you put up this after for this to leave me? Doesn't it feel like something is about to happen? Something. Away from the crime scene, sir. I've got nothing else to say. Yeah, thought as much. Pretty obvious what happened here. Are you a journalist? No, but she was. And she had enemies. I hear there's been a series. Tabloids write that shit to some comments. No, this was political. It's always political. Walking his feet. Didn't think so. You think I don't know what's going on here? So to be f honest, she got EMP'd, drugged. Something is going to push them into attacking us. Hmm. Strangled. You think I don't know what's going on here? It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about... you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Petty? The local anti-Alg politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? It's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. I see. I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead, augmented journalist. Thanks. Well, the news stories are an element. If it 
wasn't for Johnny, I might have paid you for this. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Fuck walking this way. Hmm. I don't think there's anything left in here. Gruesome, isn't it? You think I don't know what's going on here? Let me just make sure this is all the evidence I have available. Please don't tell me he's over here. Yep, he is. This can't be happening to me. It's always the metro. I kinda hate this. Couldn't they manage to fit the entire uh, map? Oh, but it has more detail. I will say that um, witness chick, yeah boy, hard looking too, hopefully she doesn't have to die, hopefully, because I am getting a um, murderer vibe circa Baldur's Gate, if anybody knows that particular quest, if not, google Baldur's Gate serial killer, I think quite an interesting quest that one. No one ever played Baldur's Gate, but certain bits do crop up in discussion from time to time. Now, if you'll only bloody well load before I run out of topics of conversation, dude. I know I asked for this, but still, come on. I really should have been in the PC. The CPU at least. Maybe it should have load faster. Because the Fury Knight was pretty much 1070 levels, so yeah. I'd rather trust my own saves. run by criminals and scum. Okay. Is Johnny gonna be alive? That's the question, really. I know some girls. It doesn't hurt to be alone. You fix your little word. Probably. Because last time I came through here, the mark was dead. Or am I to be precise? Where are you going? The Human Restoration Act is a 
step back. Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock any two people in a room, and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. I'm actually surprised. Angie held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. You don't say. So Angela left you, and you resented her for it. Resented her? No. That's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A year! And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with Bell Tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I've gone up against them before. I've seen a lot of them die. Yeah, well, I guess that makes two of us. I was in New South Wales. I saw my share of debt. Australia? You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy's so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand, but I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. Hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. Belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin, even if I wanted to. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or... You still think I killed Angela? I didn't come here to arrest or absolve you. Only to ask questions. Apology accepted. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be left alone. Mm -hmm.
really does sound a wee bit like certain quests. Let me guess, travel way the fuck back there. Oh, I'm gonna murder whoever designed this. More than a few around. Not uh, a thing as in actual bloody murder, but. Uh, Now I'm armor plated too. Should be quite lovely. I really hope that chick's not dead. But that said, it's 31 minutes, so I'm gonna have to leave it off here now, ladies and gentlemen. I'll pick it up after the loading screen. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.